Chib Jalak is speaking here after a 5-0 win against Hinkley United. Chib, delighted to get a big win again in front of a large crowd. Yeah, very delighted, mate. Um, especially after Thursday's uh, Thursday's disappointment. Um, we knew that there'd be a lot of fans here today um, as they'd given out tickets, I believe. So we knew that there's a big crowd expected. Maybe it would have been bigger if we'd won on Thursday, but we knew still that people would turn out. And it's great that people did still turn out regardless of the, of the result. So it should, just shows you the support that's behind us. And then, you know, to cap it off with a brilliant performance, brilliant five goal win. Um, I didn't think anyone put a foot wrong on that football pitch today, despite how heavy it is and how, how you know bad the, the surface is. Everyone just stuck at the job. And um, I think we played with a lot of pain and a lot of passion from what happened on Thursday. To see it out there, the commitment of everyone. So to cap it off um, with a great 5-0 win just shows you how much everyone's dedicated to the job and how much it meant for everyone to come here today and to turn it around. So it's a brilliant, brilliant day. Like you say, happy to come back after <clears throat> Thursday's disappointment, but that's the characteristics in this squad this season. Big determination and we've done the job today. Couldn't put it better myself, mate. That's exactly what it is. Determination, good characters, good footballers who, despite what happened on Thursday, despite the expectation, the disappointment, everyone rallied round. You know, since Thursday, I've had messages from all the lads, from the, the, the management, the directors, the people, everyone involved with the club has sent messages around to each other saying, hey, get your head up, pick your head up and keep going. And, and that's just... That just shows you the core of what this club's about at the minute and it's absolutely fantastic and it carries over, carries over to the pitch, you know, you know, the Hinkley a team that are having a difficult time at the minute, they need something to, to, to boost their, their season but it didn't happen because something happens, you know, something meant more to us today, you know, to, to get that result and you know, everyone dug in, everyone picked it up, the fans were here to support us, the directors, the management, everyone came together today and said, right, that's gone, season starts again, and, and it sure does. Obviously, encouraging signs today, we rested a number of key players, such as Adam Boulder, Luke Dean suspended, Danny Forrest and Paul Beasley, top goal scorer until today. It's encouraging signs of strength in depth we've got. Exactly, mate. I think all season, all season, the subs that have come on off, off the bench have always come on and changed the game and done well. So it shows you the faith that the, that the manager has in them, that, that he can bring players on that he knows are going to do something, they're going to have an effect the, in the game. And then building on that, it shows you that they can also start games as well and do well. I thought Adam Nowakowski, brilliant today. Adam, uh, Matt Bloom has been brilliant since he came in for the suspended Alan White. Um, at Lee Elam expresses himself brilliantly Dan Clayton worked so hard down the left that definitely signifies how how much strength and depth, depth we do have in the squad and, and how, how you know talented the players are and how committed to, that they are it's easy to get frustrated when you're not in the team um, but they, they don't let it phase them and, and I encourage them and, and all the ones who, who, aren't, who aren't playing at the minute I encourage them to just hang in there because they will play a part in this season and, and they, we want them to be part of this. So, fantastic to see and, and I'm sure the manager's delighted at that kind of uh, that kind of team spirit within the team. And I hope the fans can all see it, that we, we can chuck players on, start them, bring them on and they do fantastic for us. So, that, that's what we're about this year. Delighted to get back in the goals today in terms of yourself. Um, a penalty, well, a rebound <laughs> and then another good finish getting round the keeper, happy to be back scoring and obviously being top goal scorer again. Yeah, I don't really like scoring from set pieces. I'd rather an open play, <laughs> so a quick one-two with a keeper. No, no, I, I am very delighted. Um, it's been a few weeks now that I haven't scored, but you know, I, I've always said if I'm not scoring, I'm, I'm happy to, to add to the team performance and I hope I've been doing that in the past few weeks. So um, it, it it doesn't bother me when I'm not scoring goals as long as, like I say, I'm, I'm contributing. But yeah, it's great to be back on, on the score sheet. I'm, I've, I've missed sort of that feeling of hitting the back of the net. And yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just... <laughs>
just uh, makes it, you know, makes it all sort of, uh, it caps it off really, to say. Obviously it was important to get off to a good start today in front of the large crowd. Happy with their uh, influence on the game and obviously welcoming you off the pitch at full time and wanting signatures after the game. Yeah, it's, um, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic because the crowd is sort of like the 12th man um, in a football game. So when they're behind you and when you pick up the ball and you're putting a, a, a move together and they're screaming, it just sort of gives you that lift to go on and to finish the move and then, you know, to hear their reaction. Um, all throughout this period of FA Cup games, you know, we've had a lot of great support and, and I think that's, that sort of showed itself today. Despite us, you know, losing on Thursday, we still had a brilliant turnout and, and it, it, it really, it, it, does, it does affect the lads, you know, they do appreciate it and, and we'd like to say thank you for all the support that we've had off the fans, um, the, the, the management, the directors, the chairman and, and all his team. Everyone has, has continued to support us and despite what happened on Thursday, you know, they continue to do so. So we hope that the win today um, will encourage more people to keep coming and, and to just keep being, being part of this club that we all believe is going somewhere. So, you know, we, we, we hope to continue that and we hope to see more faces at Harrogate Town. On to Wednesday now, back continuing Blue Square North action against Chester, who are top of the league. Obviously another tough, tough game, but... We'll be back in there looking for three points again. Yeah, definitely, mate. Uh, Chester, a good team that have had a, a good season so far and uh, they're definitely up there as uh, one of the title contenders. Um, it's, good, it's good for us because, you know, a, a team aiming to, to get up there and, and to compete with uh, title contenders, it, it's a good test for us. It's a good test for us to, to sort of, you know, see where we're, we're at, test the waters and, and really stamp stamp our names, make a claim, you know, uh, to the league to say, you know, we're here, we're not to be written off. I know we've had a few games off and, you know, FA Cup and other Cups have come in the way, but we're back on, on the trail and we're back on the campaign to, to push ourselves up this league. So Chester's definitely a team that, you know, we're, you know, we're aware of, that they're a good team, they're a good setup, but we'll be going there full of confidence and, and, and knowing that if we do our jobs, there's no reason why we can't get a decent result on the day. Cheers, Chip Shalaka. On to Wednesday against Chester City away, 7.45pm kickoff.